Tuesday evening, and you're about to listen to one of Blog Talk Radio's top spirituality shows, Journey into the Paranormal. Your host, Spirit Man Joseph Tittle, brings you a different topic and guest each and every week. Born with the gift of communicating with spirits and predicting future events, Spirit Man Joseph Tittle has been working as a psychic for more than 20 years and as a medium for 15 years. Joseph has appeared worldwide in magazines, newspapers, and television, including appearances on Lifetime, The Travel Channel, CBS3, and a whole lot more. Now Joseph shares his gift with you, along with introducing you to different guests and topics each and every week. Journey into the Paranormal has brought guests like Dr. Brian Weiss, Lisa Williams, John Holland, and James Van Prague to the show, covering topics such as psychics, mediums, spirits, hauntings, and a whole lot more. Join us as we are about to take you on a journey into the paranormal. Good evening, everyone, and welcome to this edition of Journey into the Paranormal. Today is January 5th, 2010. And I thank you all so very, very much for joining me this evening. I am your host, spiritual medium, author of Messages from the Other Side, Joseph Tittle. More information about myself can be found on my website, josephtittle.com, or spiritmanjoseph.com. I seem to be having a little bit of an issue with the chat this evening. I've been trying to open it up, and I'm guessing that probably because the show is so bombarded this evening with people eagerly awaiting to hear the predictions for 2010, I can't seem to get it to open. It's just the chat room will not work for me. I don't know if it works for you all. But when I try to log on and I try to connect, it tells me that I'm connecting, it loads, and then I get an error that says room name error. So I don't know if you all are seeing the same thing as me, but that's what I'm getting. So um, I will keep trying that throughout the evening. And during the break, I will email Blog Talk Radio because I usually get a quick response and see why we're not getting the chat to work this evening because I really wanted to hear from you all in the chat room and get your questions and your comments about this evening's show. We're here for two hours this evening. That's my longest show here on Blog Talk Radio, and I'm really um, thankful that Blog Talk Radio has featured my show on their homepage today. Um, so, again, I welcome you all. This is the first time joining me on Journey into the Paranormal. We are here each and every Tuesday evening from 8 to 9.30 p.m., Tonight, we're just doing a special edition, so we added an extra half hour to the show, so that way I can get through everything I got to talk about. And, again, be sure to follow me, uh, my fan page on Facebook. Just look me up, Joseph Tittle, T-I-T-T-E-L. You can sign up for my fan page or my regular page. doesn't really matter. I would appreciate if you sign up for both, actually. And you can also find me on Twitter under Medium J Tittle and also on YouTube, uh, MySpace, I'm out there, I'm everywhere, so um, check it out. Be sure to log on to my website where you can click on the link to the YouTube clip and see some of my past television shows, uh, American Psychic Challenge on Lifetime TV, uh, the episode of Mysterious Journeys from the Travel Channel, including my series Real Psychics, which aired on Comcast On Demand. You can watch them also in their entirety on my website under the TV and radio link. Also, you can listen to all the past interviews and past radio shows that I have done here and also on Philadelphia's WBCB. Listen to all the archives. Uh, you like Lisa Williams? We love her. And James von Prague, John Holland, all of them have been on this show um, many times, actually. So be sure to go into the archives and listen to some of the past shows. We try to do a different topic here each and every week. I bring on different guests, different topics. We talk about all kinds of stuff, angels, meditation, prayer, karma, uh, you name it. We've pretty much covered it. And I got a lot set up for you coming up for the new year. So uh, I look forward to being here. And I've been with Blog Talk Radio for quite a while now. And I enjoy it here. And I enjoy each and every one of you. Remember, you can also email the show. Please do not do so through Blog Talk Radio, but please do so through our email address, Journey into the Paranormal at josephtittle.com. We'd love to hear your feedback and comments, which I will read live on the air, um, unless you don't want me to. And I like to have your comments and feedback, whether it's a reading um, that you had with myself or another experience you had with prior guests on the show. 
Uh, we'd like to hear it, even your suggestions for upcoming uh, shows or guests that you think we should have on the show. Uh, we're always looking into that, and I don't read all the emails personally, but I do get the important ones. So I keep trying this chat room, and I'm sorry, folks, but it's not working. When it does begin to work, I will let you know, and then you could just simply um, just refresh your page and get into the chat room. Or better yet, just open it up this page in a new one so you don't lose the show, so you know you'll lose it if if you refresh for until it refreshes. So try opening it up in a new link. Um, but again, it's not working. I'm trying it now, and now it's just freezing. So no chat right now, but we'll be getting to that later. And as for people that are on hold on the phone lines, you're going to be on hold for a long while. So I would hang up if I were you, because I'm not going to be taking phone calls for quite a while. We're here for two hours this evening, and I'm going to be presenting to you my predictions for 2010. And I'm not going to waste any time. I'm going to get started on that right away because I got a lot of stuff here for you folks. And it's unbelievable because this is something, you know, that's kind of fresh and new to me. Let me take you a little bit back a little bit. Um, a little bit about myself and how I came about these predictions and so forth. This is actually my third year bringing my world predictions to the public eye. Uh, I began seeing things when I was just a little boy. Uh, all the time I would have visions of things prior to them happening or know things, see things, spirits, and so forth. As early as the age of four, and you know, my earliest recollection of an actual vision or psychic uh, feeling of a future event happened to me when I was about five, six years old when I was on vacation with my family in Wildwood, New Jersey. Uh, we were... Um, my aunt had a hotel down in Wildwood, and we used to go there every summer for a week or two. And my brother was lucky. He got to go the whole summer because it was his godmother. But anyway, uh, my brother was older than me, four years older than me. He always tried to drag me on the big, scary rides. And one day, he finally dra drug me onto the water slides, which I was scared to death. But once I started going down the water slides, I fell in love with them. And I still love water slides. But anyway... Um, we were in Wildwood on vacation playing on the water slide. This was probably, you know, we were there all week, and I'm sure my brother and I were on the water slides days prior to that, too. But this particular day, um, almost as the day was coming to an end, we were going up the stairways to get to the top of the water slide to go back down again, and I literally felt the whole thing shake like it was falling. And I grabbed onto the railing, and I panicked, and I wouldn't go up. My brother's running up the stairs. He's like, come on, come on, let's go. I'm like, no, it's going to fall. It's going to fall. He's like, no, it's not. Well, we went down one more time, and that was it. You wouldn't get me back on the stairs of that water slide. The next day, wouldn't you know it, the big news story on the local Philadelphia News was water slide collapsed in Wildwood, New Jersey. That was the same water slide that my brother and I were playing on. So that was my earliest recollection of any type of psychic experience. And, um, you know, again, I had uh, ghostly experiences seeing deceased people as early as the age of four. You can actually read all about this in my book, Messages from the Other Side, which is fourteen ninety five and available on my website or on Amazon.com or Target.com. So that's pretty much, this has been with me ever since I was a little boy. And it's been happening all my life. And what happens, too, and it's been happening to me, again, forever, is sometimes days, a few days or a few weeks prior to an event actually happening, I'll have a vision of it. And years ago, I would not tell anybody about it. I wouldn't tell anybody about these things. And then it would happen, you know, like the big earthquake that they had out in L.A. many, many years ago, uh, I guess back in the 80s. After it happened, I said to my family and friends, I knew it. I saw that. It was, I knew that was going to happen, and they all laughed. I said, yeah, sure you did, sure you did. Um, so... <laughs> Then, not long afterwards, I decided I'm going to start telling people when I see these things. I'm going to start telling my friends and all when I have these visions. And then I started having visions of planes crashing into a populated, populated area, like a city area. And then I kept seeing headlines like the largest funeral in history. And I kept getting these for days on end, these visions, and fire, and just all this death. And I kind of wanted to almost relate it to somebody like Elvis Presley's death because, or Michael Jackson's because of how large of a funeral it was because I kept getting the largest funeral in history. So I couldn't put it all together. But wouldn't you know, within a few weeks, the two planes crashed into the Twin Towers in New York City. 
and everybody, all my friends, kept calling me on the phone. They were like, yeah, that's it, that's it. We, we remember. So finally, somebody acknowledged the visions I had. 